This is PvP in the Elder Scrolls Online, and this is probably my favorite part of the week-long beta experience I took part in recently. One reason is because it was my first chance to actually interact with other players, something I didn't really do much of a questing. Another reason is that the combat seemed pretty well thought out. It uh, wasn't just a mass rush to capture points we can click on camp at. Uh, players have to travel from fort to fort, they have to take out surrounding resources, then unload siege weapons on the fort walls, eliminate infantry, take out the gate, eliminate opposing forces, and then I finally capture the uh, fort from themselves. And then the work didn't really end there either. You have to actually rebuild the walls and gates since they don't automatically respawn because, you know, magic. I don't know, that was something I personally really liked. One of the most interesting things I encountered during PvP was that even though I wasn't seeing much opposition at first from players, we still had to be pretty careful. There was a uh, strict kill order when it came to attacking the NPCs, and any time we deviated from it, we'd all die. Uh, this helps lay the foundation for some truly memorable moments and lengthy battles that could take place once the game goes live and has a full population uh, of players and the PvP area as we well. Now, about that whole not much seeing opposition thing, I actually at one point asked in chat, hey, you know, where is everybody? And I was told that they are too busy defending the other front. So as if the dozens of forts you have to account for wasn't enough, there are three, not two factions, taking place during battles. In the grand scheme of things, it becomes a big game of what can we afford not to lose, and what's okay losing for now until we have a chance to get back. Uh, I can't imagine how awful some bigger proofs are going to be in PvP. But uh, for those who are organized and prepared, they should be in for a pretty good treat. They don't like everything though. Uh, one of the saddest parts of PvP was attacking somebody and just completely missing. Uh, since Elder Scrolls Online isn't a uh, tap darking game, the possibility of hitting nothing but air is very, very possible. It will happen, especially against other players who are constantly on the move. And it leads to a pretty frustrating experience, especially when you're first person mode. Yes, practice makes perfect. I was doing better and better as my PvP experience was going along. But still, I have a sinking suspicion that some people will just be unable to get the uh, hang of things. Elder Scrolls Online will be out this April for PC and Mac, and later this spring for both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Hopefully, I'll come see you on the battlefield. Oh, and uh, for what it's worth, go Daggerfall Alliance.